Well, welcome everyone. My name is Shelley Joensko and I'm the Director for the Office for Diversity and Multicultural Affairs here at Salt Lake Community College. Today we celebrate the 10th annual Pride in Academics program. Let me begin this evening by acknowledging our talented pianist who has, has stepped out. He's been playing the piano. Oh, there he is, Hojin. Let's give him a round of applause. <laughs> Hojin has been playing all your prelude music for the last 30 minutes, and it's been quite exquisite. So thank you, Hojin. This evening, we celebrate the culmination of a myriad of moments that have brought you to this moment, your moment, to be honored and celebrated as your holistic self. Are you ready for this celebration to begin? Yeah. Oh, come on. That was so weak. Let's try that again. Are you ready for this celebration to begin? Oh, so much better. Okay, then join me in welcoming Miss Alicia Rios, my right hand, by the way, and administrative assistant to the podium to get us started. The office, sorry. The Office for Diversity and Multicultural Affairs welcomes honorees, graduates, and guests to the 2015 Pride in Academics celebration. We are pleased to have you here with us. This evening is all about celebrating you and your achievements. Please welcome to the podium Dr. Marlon Clark, Assistant Vice President and Dean of Students, to provide the official opening remarks. It is truly my honor to be here today with you, to celebrate you, because truly, it is your event. But before I go on to give a full welcome, let me just also acknowledge, I, and there's a whole lot of people in here, but let me acknowledge just a few persons that I think would be very important for me to give um, acknowledgement to. One, I want to be able to acknowledge my boss, Dr. Nancy Singer. Would you please stand? Because she puts the money out for this function, so I know it's important. I know it's important. Absolutely. I know it's important. Yes. But also, I'd like to acknowledge Dr. Clifton Sanders. He is the interim provost for our college. So please, Dr. Clifton Sanders. And Dr. Roderick Land, who is a special assistant to the president. I'm glad that he is also with us at the table. Thank you. Now, there's many others, but it will take all day, but it's your event, so let me just say that this is similar to climbing the mountain and getting to the top of your event, your excitement, your achievements, and all of those wonderful things that you have done along the way to get you to this point. But this would not have happened without the support of other people. And so for those persons who have supported all the people that we are recognizing this evening for this Pride and Academic event, let's just say to all the moms and the dads, the cousins, the brothers and sisters, nephew, nieces, all of those who have been given a hand to you being here today, would y'all please stand up and be recognized by our audience, all of you. Yes, please do stand. All right, come on, don't be shy. All right. And so, I am very grateful to be here, and on behalf of the president and the cabinet, we all say welcome and thank you, and we hope that this celebration is all that you hope it to be. So again, thank you for being here, and I'm glad to be here with you. Thank you. Now, following me, let me just acknowledge who's coming after me. And that is, I need to acknowledge the performers of the Pacific Unity Association. So the Unity Pacific Association, are they here? There are some of them are here. We may need to have a moment. Have a moment. Have a moment. I don't know what that moment means. <laughs> oh.
Uh, you know, w when somebody speaks who happened to be strong, <laughs> you need to listen to them. <laughs> okay. So what are we going to have our moment about? So I know we're impromptuing here. Well, exactly. Yeah. So what are we having our moment about? Did you ask everyone that actually is being recognized yet to stand? I asked their supporters to stand. How about we ask them to stand? Go ahead. Okay, so all those being recognized this evening for academic achievement, please rise. And since we're waiting on the, Pac the Pacific Unity Association, you may need to stand for a long time. <laughs> all right, how about all the graduates who are here this evening being recognized? If you're a graduate this year from Salt Lake Community College, please rise. How about the people who supported the program, like Jan and all of them? So, anyone and everyone who had a role yes. in helping tonight be a huge success to celebrate you, please rise. All the supporters all of the this supporters. program. Oh! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes. Yes. Jan, yes, 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 yes. Yes. All right. I, I think we have some other people in the house, too, that we could probably acknowledge. You think so? Who do you think? I don't know. I think there's Kurt Larson that's in the house. Oh, where's Kurt? He's oh, right Kurt, in front. Oh, Kurt, please stand. I think Kurt's right here, yes. Please rise. And Kurt. You know what, I, I think there's one more group we've left out, really important. Even though Pooh is ready, they made us wait, so we should make them wait a minute. Make them wait. Okay, so all of the advisors, mm. multicultural advisors and club advisors who have been so generous in assisting us in making sure that this is an authentic ethnic event, please rise. Yeah, all right, all right. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Take it home. Right. Now, performers of our Pacific Unity Association, I think they are ready to do their performance. So here you are, and it's your moment. Thank you. Thank you. All right. A very big aloha. Aloha. Thank you, thank you. Um, like you said, we are Pacific Unity Association. Uh, we are the pool club known as, quote unquote, the Poly Club, Pacific Islander Club, the Louded Up Noxious Club, the Crazy Club. Um, so we're just here to do a couple of numbers for you guys today. And we're taking you down to the islands of Samoa where we say Talofa. All right, so um, I'm going to need you guys to say it a little bit louder just to give these um, Samoan happy dancers a very warm love and welcome. So, talofa. Talofa. Fafetai lava. So, thank you so much. So, we're going to go ahead and have the girls do a Samoan uh, maulu ulu. Um, it's the Samoan version of the Hawaiian hula. We tell stories with our hands. And um, I'll go ahead and invite them. Samoa, Samoa, Lulu, eh. Fatima, young, 
Thank you so much for having us. Have a wonderful evening. How amazing was that? Let's give these lovely ladies another round of applause. So with that, I'd like to speak with you a little bit about this recognition celebration. What is Pride in Academics, you may be asking? It's a recognition celebration for all you have done that has culminated into this very moment. Everything you will experience this evening is to honor and celebrate you. Your journey, your heritage, your perseverance, your success, everything in this moment is for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you be proud of your unique self, for you have reached for the sky and become the stars. I ask now for Kyle to join me at the stage, our former president of our Asian Student Association, to present our next cultural performance. Let's give him a round of applause. How's everybody doing today? I would like to welcome Mimi up here, please. She's one of our ASA members, and she'll be performing a cultural song for us. So can you give her a round of applause? <laughs> Let's see if I can lower this. Is that okay? So 
That was amazing. Mimi's actually um, a well-known star in Vietnam. She has a YouTube channel and has videos that's reached over a million views. So, yeah. And that was a Vietnamese song. Well, I didn't know we actually had like a well-known million member star in the audience. I knew we had lots of stars, but that's pretty impressive, Mimi. Thank you so much, that was lovely. Let's give her another round of applause. That was just so beautiful. So it's now my distinct pleasure to welcome to the stage Dr. Clifton Sanders, the interim provost of academic affairs to assist us in bestowing the certificates of achievement on this evening's recipients. Dr. Clifton. Oh. Well, good evening, everyone. And, um, oh, good evening. <laughs> and I just wanna add, just add my congratulations and appreciation for, for all of you and to celebrate the hard work that you've done and the achievement and um, I just just want to acknowledge this. Um, this event gets bigger every year because our community is our, our community has changed so much over the years. And I I feel like I'm not just looking at the present, but I'm looking at the future of Salt Lake Community College as well. And so I'm very happy to be here to be part of this event. And so uh, congratulations to everyone. And without further ado, let's hand out some awards. All right. So what we're going to ask, although I'm going to tell you I already know it will not happen, so, but I'm going to ask it. We ask that you hold your applause to the very end. After all of the re recipients have received their certificate, we are going to have them stand to the left so that we can do a group photo. Um, but I know how it is to be a proud mother, spouse, or sister or brother, so I imagine it's going to be pretty noisy in here. So with that, we're going to read your name. When we read your name, please come to the front of the stage, and Dr. Sanders is going to award you your certificate. I apologize in advance. If I mispronounce your name, please correct me, because it's really, really important that we make sure that we honor the true you. With that, let's begin this evening's awards. Hodan Abdi. Karina Aguilera. Alfonso Barrentes.
Maria Bernay Tamara. David Blass. Rainy Boteg. Victoria Volonos. I told you it wasn't going to happen. Lasissus La Bakari. Tania Castrolone. Miguel Shamaro. Hi and Cho. Alicia Contreras. Okay, someone's got to break this trend here in a minute. Grisha Cook. Nancy Corollas Henrique. Nathalie Cruz. Oh, we should get a woo woo for that one just for taking so long to get one to get up here. Thomas Doe. Tai Hundo. Daniel Espinal. Laurel Fortin. Delia Fresca. Myra Garcia. David Gade. Kia Quinn. Ingrid Gunther. Grisha Gutierrez. Melissa Heaton. Latisha Hensley. Javier Hernandez. Martha Hernandez. Dun Hong. Tulia Inez Ebenes. Terry Jackson Mitchell. Caroline Johnson. Rachel Johnson. A blue gossam coffee. Mahout La. Victoria Lara. Hoon Lin. Oh, woo, she's throwing her hands up in the sky back there. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to celebrate. Cesar Loya. Elopia Mufa. Maria Meraquin. 
Judy McCarthy. Louise Mendoza. Sophia Mengesha. Raylan Montoya. Fernanda, Fernando Morales. Jose Morales Diaz. Emmy Mishiska. Jocelyn Nelson. Theo Nguyen. Delania Nish. Hmm, this one's gonna be really tricky. I've mainly corrected on this one. Omed Okalolu. Please help me correct that. That is such a beautiful spelling. Olamide. Okay, Kulu. Yes? Close? Okay. Makit Lar. Trudy Almos. Okay, scoot on up in front of each other. Let's act like you like each other. Come on, come on down. Get a group photo. Trudy Almos. Okay. Maria Orcasa. Gladinelle Ortez Pagan. Liberado Pachero. Iris Pariz. Nerali Patel. E. Pa. Marina Peranza Gonzalez. Peraza Gonzalez. First name is Marina. Perfect. Thank you. Jenny Perez. Annie Fon. Kiera Poli, yeah. <laughs> Jessica Kiros, Jonathan Ramirez, N Nero Rico, Carla Riviera. Anna Ruiz, Nestle Solomon, Brenda Santoya, Tijas Shah, Tijas Shah, Tejas. Did I get it that time? Say it again. Come here. Come, come and do it. Let me do it right. I believe in doing it right. Hey, Joss. Yes. Shaw. There we go. <laughs> Brenda? Yes. Cynthia Sharma. Cynthia could be here. You had to work at the last minute. And you are accepting on, oh, that is fantastic. Just show it around. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Orlean Stoll. 
Oscar Suet Suarez, Justine Faith Tablagan. Ranuka Thahapa, Kin Thane, Lydia Toman, <laughs> Sadeia Trussell, Nope, right here, Sheen Thane. Mm -hmm. Ben Tudor, Ike Ubani. Is Ike correct? Ik Ubani. Sasha Velasquez. Sharon. Pedro Alas Estrada, Aileen Villa, Patricia Voss, Janice Watts, Sanya Wong. Nelson Yonamura, Veronica Zaviala or Azalko. And I'm sure that is not right, because that is too beautiful of a spelling to sound that terrible. So you're going to have to come correct me on that for sure. Savala Noroso. Oroso. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Oscar Suarez. Suarez. I said it first the first time, better. See what happens when you go back to the pile a second time? Not good. Philip Scott Ellsworth. Spencer Cordette, the last name is sort of a little scribbly, so I'm not sure that's correct. Sometimes handwriting I can read really well and other times not so much. So why don't you assist me in making sure I got it correctly to honor you? Cadet? Okay, so Spencer Cadet. Marlene Allman, and Vanessa and Hagel. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to make sure that we give not only them a huge round of applause, but I want you to understand when you look at these beautiful peoples that you are looking at students who have achieved 50 Salt Lake Community College credits and a GPA of 3.4 and higher. Let's celebrate their success. So if I can have all of you wrap around to the front, you got them? All right, let our photographer handle this. All right, two group photos, here we go. Yeah. Three, look at me. 
go sit down. Okay, hold for the second photo. It appears we have a couple individuals who are here. So hold for the second photo. I want to make sure we get them called. One more minute. We don't want to. We don't want individuals who should be recognized not to be recognized. Dr. Sanders, can I have you come back up here for a moment? Don't you step to the side right here, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a few more that to be recognized that somehow did not get on the list. So, Lori Warren. They're gathering two more names that we want to make sure get recognized. No worries when you have to wait, right? No, because it's important that we honor everyone. That's quite an achievement, don't you think? 3.4 GPA? Like, that should get another round of applause. So Ori Casa. And last but certainly not least, Blor Deng. Bjor Deng. All right. Wow, look at all these people. All these amazing, unique, special people. This is pretty awesome. I'm going to step out of the way so they can get this photo. Let's give them a moment to get back in their seats. How's everybody doing? Oh, come on. You're Bruins already. Let's hear some big bear noise. That's way better. Okay, way better, way better. Okay. So, next we are going to get to be enjoyed by a tremendous performance um, by Sasidio Sanchez and the American Indie Indian Student Leadership Club, and to welcome them to the floor and share the cultural significance of this performance is Michelle Sanchez.
Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Sanchez and I'm Navajo Southern Cheyenne in Kiowa and I am the president for the American Indian Student Leadership Club. And I wanna thank Shelly, Joe and Alicia for asking our club to participate in this event tonight. And I'm really excited tonight because um, our club has been really uh, trying to build itself and we, we went from four members in fall semester to 20 members in spring and that's a big step for us. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm really excited because I was counting all the people that were awarded and six of our club members are being um, uh, presented tonight. And yeah, six people. So what the performance that we'll be doing tonight is called the round dance and it's a social dance and the significant to our culture is that we celebrate and we're social and um, this is one of those um, activities and so we invite everyone to come and join us and this um, this dance it, it inspires joy and happiness and this dance will also provide us to have kinship and friendship with all of you and I'm going to ask our club members to grab someone along the way and I just invite you to come the dance is pretty simple you just we go around in a circle and as you hear the beat you just move one two three and tonight I actually I have my husband his name is Cesario Sanchez he's Navajo and he'll be performing uh, the song for us and so I'm really excited to hear him sing and so I invite everyone to come let's get the juices flowing and let's all celebrate everyone's achievements tonight thank you
So we're going to take this moment to take, because that was a workout. I'm just saying. I didn't know I needed my Zumba gear on. So we're going to take a moment, just a short break. I know you've been sitting and listening to a lot of names and talking. There is food to your left. Um, we're going to take a short 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So get your food, get back to your seats so we can honor these graduates. After the program, we're going to have authentic ethnic, ethnic desserts. See, I'm out of breath. So you do not want to miss that because they are yummy. Go ahead and take a break. Grab you something quick to eat. So before I start, where is Asel? Can Asel stand up? I think these ladies and gentlemen need another round of applause. That was a pretty inspirational dance. So I just couldn't go without saying that. Very, very amazing. It not only spoke to everyone in this room, but to the spirits above us, so thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the one, the only, Kurt Larson. So earlier, we called all these folks, all these wonderful people up who, high achievers, who receive a lovely certificate demonstrating that academic excellence, their achievements to date, that can go nicely on a wall. But once you graduate, once you actually reach the finish line, you get some bling to wear around your necks. And so that's the next little segment here that we're going to be working on. I did want to mention just, I noticed over here earlier there was this Carmex that had fallen on the ground, uh, just got jiggled loose while we were doing the uh, round down. So if this is yours, you know where it is, it's just right up here, you can kind of just come grab it. So, Jack, is that yours? All right. So, uh, I think without further ado, we want to get on to the, the main event, and that is handing out these Pride in Academics medallions of honor for those of our graduating class 2015. So, we're going to call you, all the graduates to please rise. Graduates, please proudly stand up. Awesome. Let's give them a round of applause. I figure this way, no matter how I pronounce your name, and please do correct me. I had a couple people come up after and say, I failed to correct you on my name. It's really important that we get your name right. That's very, very important um, because it is who you are and how you represent yourself. So if we say it wrong or we butcher that name, please correct us. And we want to make sure that we say it correctly to honor you. Does that seem fair? All right. So with that, we're going to start calling these lovable names. Karina Aguilar. Did I get it right this time? Oh, see, I did good. I butchered it last time, I remembered. Victoria Balonis. Please accumulate at the front of the stage. Thank you. Nathalie Cruz. Okay, one second. Come, no, come on up over here. Say it in my ear again. Victoria Bolaños. Ah, there we go. Come on. We're just going to have a line of, of helping me learn. Oh, okay, so Natalie Cruz. Okay. Thao Wando. Woo! Dalia Fresco. Ingrid Gunther. Melissa Heaton. Woo! 
Latisha Hensley. Javier Hernandez. <laughs> Terry Jackson Mitchell. Elopia, no, Elopa Mufa. I think I still didn't get it right, and you told me, so come on up. Come on. Eliopa Mufua. Mafua. Did I get it this time? Okay, good, good. Let's give her a hand and pause. Maria Maraquin. Judy McCarthy. Sophia Megesha. Raylan Montoya. Fernando Fernando Morales. Jose Morales Diaz. Delena Nish. <laughs> Lebardo Pachero. Marina Peraza Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Annie Fan. Fan. Kiara Poli. <laughs> Cynthia Sharma. Just, just give it to mom. Give it to mama. Wrap it around the phone. <laughs> Orlean Stowell. Is it Stowell or Stowell? Hmm. Okay. Justine Tablagon. Justine. Is it Zin Thane? Did I get it right this time, Zin? No, dang it. Come tell me. Did I get half of it right? Yeah. Oh, there's hope for me yet. Shin? Shin Thane. Mm -hmm. Lydia Tolman. Ben Tudor. I.K. Ubani. Woo! 
Sharon Vidralas Estrada. Janice Watts. Oh, how adorable. Nelson Yonmura. Is that correct? Come on up. Yernama. Yernamura. Oh, finally, thank you. Okay, so I promise you that it's not just my pronunciation. Some of these are very hard to read. They're handwritten, so uh, I apologize in advance. Shadaya Trussell. Shadea Trussell. Deng Bro? Or is it Bro Den? I have it both ways. So come tell me what's correct. Deng Bior. Neither one was correct. Thank you. <laughs> Abu Ghassam Kafi, Sandra Lakma, <laughs> Daniel Espinel. Martha Hernandez. Woo! Oh, Martha! Yeah! Hodan Abdi. Are there any graduates still left seated that I did not call your name, that did not make it on our list? If so, please rise, come to the front, and we will make sure that you get recognized and get your medallion. Please come to the front. Let's give them a round of applause. I can say your name. Tao Win. Nestle Solomon. <laughs> Thomas Doe. Mari Orcasa. Oscar Suarez. Veronica Zavala. Michelle Sanchez. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the distinguished academic achievers that are graduating from Salt Lake Community College in 2015. Let's give them another huge round of applause. We're gonna take a moment. We're gonna take a moment for a photo op, one or two. You guys wanna do one giant group one? Can we do it? All right, move in. 
Community is unity. Let's get together. Act like you like each other. So we are going to put a link onto our webpage. Thank you to wonderful Jan Coleman um, from Institutional Marketing, who, by the way, has been phenomenal and why everything looks so beautiful on the tables and the marketing. Her and her team did that. So we will put a link on our website. You go to that link, and you can get all the photos that we have taken tonight. I'm also going to ask if you took photos and you want to share those with us and with others, make sure that we get them, and we'll put those on the too. Sound good? Yes, cool beans. All right, so because this evening is about you, because this is your moment, this is your moment, I'm gonna ask for every single person who was recognized this evening to stand one more time so we can celebrate you. Please rise. Thank you. So I'm going to ask that you join us in welcoming to the stage Jack Hesleff. He's the BSU Black Student Union co-advisor to introduce our closing performance, which doesn't mean you leave after. It means then you still have closing remarks, OK? And then we get authentic ethnic desserts. So everyone, give a big round of applause for Jack Hesleff. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> As was mentioned, my name is Jack Hesloff, and I'm one of the co-club advisors, along with Ms. Glory uh, Johnson Stanton uh, with the BSU. I have the distinct pleasure of introducing our next performance. Now, I, I, uh, this lady first came on my radar some two or three years ago when I saw her as an orator. She had the opportunity to vie for a scholarship, and in order to do so, she had to memorize her presentation and to present it. And I was so impressed at that particular point in time. And then I got a chance to see her here at Salt Lake Community College as a student. And this individual uh, is, you'll see her up here next year or another time because she has her academics down, and she is a dedicated student. And then I had a chance to see her as a tenacious competitor. You don't want to get in the way. <laughs> when she's headed to do something or something's on her mind, she takes care of business. She's shooting darts at me right now, but you know what? I'm quick, and she can't hit me. And I also then became uh, acquainted with her as a leader in the Black Student Union. And so it is my pleasure to present to you um, Ms. Sh Glory Shekinah Stanton, who will give you the spoken word. Good evening. I feel like Mr. Jack just pumped me up a little bit too much. So, <laughs> but, all right, <laughs> just kidding. Okay, so, um, maybe, maybe not, maybe not, we'll find out. Just kidding. As he said, my name is Gloria Shekinah Stanton and I'm the president of the Black Student Union and I'm going to be reciting for you all a spoken word. We made it. In spite of what the world said about us, we made it. In the society we grew up in, they waited patiently for the battle to be over and the, for the failure to win. 
Many often doubt if you were worth the government Pell Grants and loans that you had to cash out, but regardless of that, we made it. There are so many struggles to overcome on this journey all in the same, all in the name of education. The constant second guessing of self, are you doing the right thing for you or just to say you've stashed some money away in a check-ins or a savings? You have a duty when you make it to the community from which you came. You have to help those younger than you find their path and make it just the same. Remember along this journey, you'll constantly be doubted. People will try to destroy you, your mind plays tricks, or, or you may just find that your whole life's path suddenly gets rerouted. There are barriers you've never imagined standing in your way. Sometimes each day seems like a struggle and you may have the thought of quitting and walking away. But to quit is not in our nature. We all come from a strong people. We were bred to endure, conquer, defeat, to be champions, and to do away with the world's evil. You see, whether you want it or not, you have a responsibility to make the thought of freedom real to teach the world humanity. I urge you to be the best, not just simply by coming to class and passing tests, but be the best in society, set an example, raise the bar, make justice just and peace for real, discover a cure, invent something new, write a good book, or simply see your dreams all the way through. This is a celebration of the accomplishments you've made thus far. My last words of advice, let your mind be the logic, your heart be the compassion, and when in doubt, just remember who you are. We made it, we made it, we've made it. Now let's show the world what we can do with it. Thank you, and congratulations to you. Wow, that was powerful and real and tenacious and passionate and the definition of Shekinah. Thank you so very much. We intentionally chose for Shekinah to end the program with her powerful spoken word because we knew that it would resonate in your spirits and your soul. So thank you for sharing your words of wisdom and I hope that each and every one of you take those with you, not just today nor tomorrow, but for many days to come. This evening, I close this program, and we have a couple of quick announcements. First off, wear those medallions proudly. Show up at commencement with them on and your heads held high. If you aren't planning on walking, walk. It's so important, it's so significant of you succeeding and of you achieving your dreams. Don't let anything get in your way from celebrating you because you are truly important. With that, I'm gonna ask my colleague, Sonia Parker, to come up. She wants to tell you about an upcoming, another wonderful celebration of our ethnic students that's going to be occurring soon. And then I'm going to share a final quote and release you for some scrumptious desserts. Sound good? Cool. So you want to continue the fun? You want to continue, you know, with music and photos and, you know, congratulations and all that kind of stuff? I have a program for you. I think that Sadie was distributing this paper and it's an invitation for uh, May 6th. You and your family are invited to come and celebrate with us academic advising. Uh, we have made uh, something that is called the Arch, the Triumphant Arch, and it's going to be where we have the administration building in that area, the um, center to the east, and we are going to have a small, it's like we call the rite of passage, uh, because really the students are transitioning from uh, the college to a university or from the college to the workforce. So we want to start a ritual, um, build more memories with the students. And will be May 6th, and it's, about, it's from 5 to 5.30,
but we will have for you a, a space where you can have beautiful pictures of, of you graduates and your family, and that is space that meant a lot for a lot of people. And so please feel free to come. Like I said, we will have music. We will try to have employers too. I heard of a couple of employers that say, I want to be there because I have jobs for the students. So if you are looking for jobs, we have companies that they want to be celebrating with you uh, that afternoon. And after that, you will have time for refreshments, some more dances in that beautiful space that we have just um, east of campus. So please, that's the invitation, and let's start a new tradition in the college. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like this mic keeps getting lower and lower and lower. I'm going to squat here in a little bit. So a few things. One is I would be remiss if I didn't thank a number of people personally for all that they've done tonight to help celebrate you. So with that, to our college administrators, Dr. Nancy Singer, thank you. Dr. Marlon Clark, thank you. Dr. Clifton Sanders, thank you. Kurt Larson, thank you. To our ethnic student clubs for their planning, support, volunteerism, performances, and those authentic dessert recipes. Thank you. To our chefs, Megan Kranaki and Kenny Rabachok, along with all of this evening's servers from Catering Services, thank you. To Jan Coleman and Amber Giles from Institutional Marketing and Communications, thank you both. Jesse Johnson from Facilities, who by the way, reset this entire room in an hour for us so we could have it exactly like we wanted it, thank you. John Oliver, Cody Moulton, Steve Speckman, Teresa Ayer from Media and Printing Services, thank you. Last but not least, thank you to our student volunteers and our workers in the Office for Diversity and Multicultural Affairs, Blake Seo, Kyle Hoon, Sanal Hawk, Matt Wong, Clarissa Cardenas, Emily Sandoval, Gary Gonzalez, and Peli Katamali Tauku, thank you. Now look around this room and whoever you have brought with you or anyone in this room who has helped you get to where you are, I ask that you take a moment, turn to them and say thank you. Last but certainly not least, cap and gowns are still in the bookstore. If there is someone in this room who feels they can't walk because they don't have that money for that cap and gown, you come see me. We will make sure between our colleagues and our friends, somehow your economic circumstance will not prohibit you from celebrating you. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that when you get your authentic ethnic dessert that you choose one or two. Um, we did have a lot more people show up than we anticipated, and we did expand the desserts. But as you all know, if you're really going for authenticity, that means you need to make sure that you have the accurate ingredients. So we ask that you please now line up over to your left, right, whichever way it works for you. And thank you so much again for coming. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>